we will move on the next topics about hydrogen storage materials. The, the next speaker is Professor Ezo Akiba. He is a principal investigator of Eisner in Kyushu University and also a professor of the Department of Mechanical Engineer, Kyushu University. And, uh, he is uh, one of the uh, leading researcher in the this uh, in this hydrogen storage field. And please start. Uh, professor Yamauchi, thank you very much for kind uh, introduction. Uh, today I'm going to uh, introduce uh, our activity of our uh, hydrogen storage material division. Uh, this is the structure of our division. We have four PIs. Um, I'm a leading PI and uh, Professor Pin Chan from uh, Dalian Institute of Chemical Physics uh, in China, uh, Professor Zenji Horita from uh, Kyushu University, and uh, Professor Louis Schlappach uh, from uh, Switzerland. So hydrogen is gas under ambient conditions. Therefore, uh, energy volume density is uh, a critical issue to be uh, solved. And the hydrogen storage materials provide compact, energy efficient, safe, and affordable method of hydrogen storage and transport, which is uh, critical to realize the hydrogen economy. That is our relevance. And the uh, objective is uh, based on fundamental studies, hydrogen storage materials with weight capacity of over 6 mass percent uh, will be developed for uh, mobile applications. And uh, after March 11th, uh, my family still live in um, Ibaraki Prefecture, that is just between Fukushima and Tokyo. And myself, I had the earthquake on the March 11th at the airport in Tokyo. So it, it makes me a quite uh, a kind of a paradigm change in energy issues. So I believe, and also uh, I, I believe uh, everybody in this room agrees with me, uh, we should introduce uh, renewable energies into our society. But uh, such a significantly fluctuated renewable energies should be stored and uh, utilized. So hydrogen is uh, one of the best methods to store hydrogen in sole purpose. And uh, then we add uh, this uh, sentence this year, uh, last year, for stationary energy storage, long life and inexpensive materials should be expert in our division. So hydrogen is a gas, as I, I have already mentioned to you, uh, one bar and, uh, uh, of hydrogen has only one three thousandth of uh, volume energy density compared to gasoline. So how do we solve this issue with technology? That is our target. And the hydrogen storage materials can store hydrogen appropriate volume density. However, weight density of hydrogen storage materials is still an issue for mobile applications. But for stationary applications, weight density is not so serious. But uh, some other technical issues uh, came to us. And today, uh, we have two presentations from our division. The uh, first one is uh, my talk. Um, we, I will tell you a little bit about the hydrogen storage system using hydrogen storage materials. But uh, uh, Professor Matsuda of my division will give you a TM, very detailed TM observation to develop uh, materials with higher capacity, especially for mobile application. So this is our model for the uh, energy storage. Uh, from uh, uh, renewables, we produce hydrogen using uh, electrolyzer. And we store hydrogen in hydrogen storage materials, then uh, hydrogen from uh, storage materials to uh, regenerate uh, electricity. That is our idea. Uh, this fiscal year, we are starting to establish demonstration, small, disc, small size, uh, small scale demonstration unit for the first stage. However, our final target is uh, we invite all the most advanced technologies 
uh, to our system and to make an uh, integrated system. So th this is a little bit of detailed uh, schematic drawing of our uh, project. And uh, for the hydrogen storage, at present, we will use this kind of small size container for hydrogen storage. But uh, we should develop uh, from here to much more sophisticated system for hydrogen storage with collaboration to uh, uh, thermal uh, property division in Eisner. And also, uh, some other, uh, we collaborate with another three divisions inside of Eisner. Uh, for example, uh, thermal uh, conduct, some conducti conductivity measurement, uh, measurement system is uh, being built by a thermal physical property division. And also, uh, hydrogen production division will provide us a most sophisticated uh, solid state electrolyzer to us. And, uh, uh, Fiercer Division is also developing a uh, SOFC unit uh, by their own technology for that uh, integrated system. For, for us, we are material scientists. Uh, we develop, we decide to develop a titanium uh, iron uh, alloy for the uh, stationary application. And this material uh, is a uh, very good for this application because the volume hydrogen density is higher than liquefied hydrogen. And also, titanium ion is inexpensive and rich in resources. For example, we don't like to use uh, rare earth for the uh, stationary application. And, uh, but but uh, this is a little bit difficult to apply uh, at present for uh, titanium ion uh, to our system because Hydrogenation requires high temperature, about 400 degrees C, and high pressure, about uh, several megapascal, for initiation of the reaction. So th this is a, a crystal structure of uh, iron titanium, a so-called cesium chloride type. And uh, those, uh, these materials work uh, at room temperature, even though zero degrees C, and the capacity is uh, good enough for that uh, the purpose, but uh, uh, to, to, to make, um, to develop uh, our material, we have to solve an issue uh, to initiate uh, our reaction much easier. For example, at room temperature, maybe uh, a few bar. So I collaborate, we collaborate with uh, uh, another group in the same division. Um, Professor uh, Zenti Horita and uh, Kabe uh, Edelati, uh, they are also belong to our division, started to uh, use uh, HPT, high pressure torsion technique. So this is a, a schematic diagram of uh, their technique. Um, they put the uh, upper ampel to pressurize sample. Then they rotate. Uh, this, um, this material uh, under very high pressure, uh, it's a gigapascal order. Um, we have some experience, such kind of uh, uh, significantly large strain gives a positive effect for hydrogen storage. So I and also my colleagues uh, expect very much this kind of uh, significantly large strain gives a, a better I uh, initiation or activation of uh, titanium ion material. So we have a lot of collaborators, um, w at least three projects inside of ISNA with other uh, divisions and also with different um, principles. And also we have a lot of industrial partners and also uh, we have a lot of uh, partners with um, academia. And this is one of the uh, example. I uh, was assigned as a visiting professor for senior international scientist of the Chinese Academy of Science last year. And uh, therefore, I give lectures uh, every several weeks in Dalian Institute. So we are expanding such kind of uh, uh, internal or domestic or international collaboration with a lot of people. So this is uh, our uh, future uh, work. Uh, we will work very hard on both uh, system development and material development. 
And also, uh, we'd like to expand our collaboration uh, uh, to a uh, uh, much, much wider range. So this is summary. But uh, I have almost spent my time, so I should leave this. And uh, also, I'd like to thank uh, your kind attention. Thank you very much, Professor Akiba.